Okay. <clears throat> so this is my second prototype of this guy right here, which is the Robo Jelly or Jellybot. Um, I had some issues with the drive, I guess, the drive shaft of this jelly. Uh, it didn't work too well. I didn't think it was going to, but I needed to build it first to see what I needed to change. So I have some robotic servos installed in this guy right here, um, as well as I have um, four steel rods instead of just two, which should make it more solid, and I got some uh, roller bearings, which tension the actual... let me see. I got some roller bearings, which are these guys right here. There's one on either side of the gear shaft on the motor, and that presses this rack down onto the pinion so that it has constant contact and doesn't have any chance of flopping off or slipping, which is a problem I kind of had with this guy over here. Even though I did kind of install a little, like, tensioner bit right here, it didn't really work too well, and ah, there's just some things I needed to change, so... This is the upgrade, and that is the old one. So I'm going to, um, see if, uh, these motors... well, I guess I should explain. Um, these motors are stationary on these four rods. They're fixed to it. Um, the part that moves are these two discs. There's one up here and there's one down here. And these discs are basically going to slide up and down these rods. And that's the thing that gives the jelly arms motion. So as these move back and forth, um, it causes these elbows to kind of buckle out and ultimately make a jelly kind of motion, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna plug this in to an Arduino and just sort of run uh, example code, or a test code, and see if it, if it do. So this is not... Oops. Not happy. This is my old rack and pinion, and tensioner, right there. So, this guy held the rack in place nice and tight up against the pinion, so they're wasn't really any slippage as it went up and down, however the rack bit did want to pop out this way. So the way I compensated for that is I made another tensioner that has these nice little arm wavy pieces on either side that hold the rack on track as it goes up and down so it's not sliding anywhere anymore which is nice. Um, and I'm printing out a second one for the other side right now. These are the bones, the jelly bones, and they go right there. So I have three of them installed right now. And I'm about to put the other three on and then it will look a little bit more like that jelly over there. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. I probably won't like it, but too bad. Okay. It doesn't like something. Oh, oh, rape, rape. So here are all the things I upgraded to make this thing actually work. Uh, like I explained before, I have got the improved guided tensioner on the rack and pinion. Uh, I also installed, not really installed, but I modified these disc pieces. Uh, where can I get a good angle? Uh, you can kind of see here I've got these cylinders that hug the pushrod. Uh, these are kind of in lieu of linear bearings, but they do help the disc not buckle sideways as it travels up and down on the guide rails, which helps a lot, so that's another addition I made. And, um... 
Oh yeah, since I have all these things keeping the rack and pinion in track, it, I can't really reposition this easily, manually anymore like I used to, and I could just pop the rack off and kind of slide the thing up and down. Blah. So I have buttons that I have wired up to an Arduino that I can use to discreetly control each of the motors and make them go up and down. So these two are up and down for this bottom disc, like the front motor that you see spinning. And the other two are for the other motor, which controls the top disc. Oops. But yeah, so I can play around with this and as you can see it's working now, so soon I'll have it doing graceful jelly-like things. Jelly do.